that the first thing that they can do is have two sounds. And right now we're learning the second thing that they can do, which is knowing that E went to teacher school, so he gets to tell the other vowels what to say. And today we are going to be learning what happens when E tells O to say his name. So in this video, we are going to be thinking all about words that have the O sound. Normally, O will say ah, 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 but Teacher E is going to tell O to say his name. So Teacher E is telling O, say O. So Miss Cassandra is going to be thinking of some words that have the O sound, and I want you to be thinking about words with me, and if I say the word you are thinking about, that means I read your mind, and I love it when I read friends' minds. So let me know if I thought of any words that you thought about. Okay, so I'm going to be thinking about some words that have the O sound. The words have to go O, O, hmm. Okay, I have a word, and it goes like this. Robe, robe. Do you hear that O sound? Er, obe, robe. So in the morning on winter days, when it is so cold outside, when Miss Cassandra wakes up in the morning, I grab my robe because when I get out of my bed, I am really cold. And so Miss Cassandra puts on her nice and toasty robe because that helps me stay nice and warm. And if you know anything about Miss Cassandra, you know that my favorite color is purple and my robe, which is nice and toasty warm, is purple. And there's my little tie. And that is my robe. 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 Now, if we didn't have teacher E, this would not say robe. It would say er, ah, 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 er, ob, rob. Like someone robbed a store, rob. Or sometimes people have the name rob, rob. It would say er, ah, ob. We want to say er, ob robe. Okay, let me brainstorm another word. And remember, you're thinking about words that go, oh, it has the O oh sound. Oh, hmm. Oh. Are you ready? It goes like this. I want you to try to sound it out because I'm not going to tell you right away. You are awesome sauce readers and I want you to try to read this word. And remember, it doesn't say ah, oh, it says oh because of teacher E. Try to read this word. Figure it out. Goes like this. Mm. Oat. Note. Like someone wrote you a note. I heart you or I love you. And that was someone's note. 
they wrote you a note. But if this word did not have teacher E, it wouldn't say note. It would say mm, ought, not, like I am not going to eat cereal for breakfast. I am going to have oatmeal. Not. Mm, oat, not. Teacher E is really important because he tells O to say his name. He tells him to say O. Okay, let me think of another word. Oh, you know what word has O that Miss Cassandra hears? Snow. Oh, do you hear the O? Sn. Oh. If you also thought of snow, that is an amazing word. It has the O. But it's not teacher E. That's a vowel team. We'll learn about those later. So if you thought of snow, that's an awesome word. You did such an amazing job. But it's a vowel team and we'll learn about those later. But you know what word does have teacher E? This word, and this word has a blend. Are you ready? It goes go. It has their blend. Go. Teacher E tells O to say O. O. Go. O. B. Globe. And a globe is just our world. So sometimes people will have the world on a little stand and that just means it's called a globe. And maybe it's on a little stand and usually they're on like a table. And this is someone's globe. It's a globe of our world. But if teacher E was not in this word, it wouldn't say globe. It would say goal. Still have that blend. Goal. Ah. Ah. Ob. Glob. Like maybe you made a slime, you did a slime experiment and now it's just a big glob. You have a glob of slime, a glob. But we didn't want it to say glob, we wanted it to say globe, globe. Okay, let's brainstorm another word. And remember, you're thinking of words that go Oh, it has the O oh sound. Hmm. You know what? Normally during this time, a lot of people, when it's all sunny out, a lot of people go on a B boat. Boat. Do you hear the O oh in the middle? B boat. Boat. If you thought of boat, that's amazing. You heard the O sound, but it's not teacher E. That's a vowel team. We'll learn about that later. But this word does have teacher E in it. And this word is kind of one of my favorite words to use because I tell this word to my nephew all the time and it goes like this. Mm. Oh, because teacher E tells O to say O. Mm. O. Oh. Mope. When my nephew wants ice cream before his lunch, guess what Miss Cassandra tells him? No. And so sometimes he mopes. He becomes mopey and he is not happy because he mm, mopes and sometimes he'll cross his arms and go mm, and I'll go oh, you're moping you look a little mopey let's not mope. 
So teacher E tells O to say O. And if teacher E wasn't in there, it wouldn't say mo. It would say mm, ah, 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 mop. Like you're going to mop the floors. Mop. But we do have teacher E. It's not mop, it's mm, ope, mope. Okay, friends, so we are learning all about Teacher E, and especially when Teacher E tells O to say his name, to say O. What I want you to do now is I want you to go and do our activities, which tells you to read and write all of the words that have our O, because Teacher E told O to say his name. I know you can do it because you were rock stars during this.